everyone. I'm Anne from Anne Makes. Welcome to my channel. Uh, this is the second Dollarama haul. Actually, it's the first Dollarama haul I did uh, two days ago. I just filmed the second one and I'm doing this in uh, two videos because uh, it would be a lot for just one video. It would be really too long and I know uh, long videos aren't appreciated. So I I have this second Dollarama haul to show you, so let's get to it. The uh, first thing I want to show you, and I just cracked up when I saw these, and I thought these will make a really good little gag gift or a stocking stuffer for, uh, I'll have to keep, I'll have to remember where I store this and use it next Christmas. And uh, these are eraser heads. Now, I don't know if you've seen these, but uh, these are by Kickerland. They look like something I've seen at Chapters. I've seen stuff like this at Chapters and then the little gift section that they have near the cash. And so they're eraser heads. And I have to read to you what it says on here. So you see there's they're the like heads of men. Okay, like that. And it says, hair fades as you erase. <laughs> it's so picture. Basically, as you well, you're using up the eraser. Of course, the design's gonna disappear, but you're making your little man's head go bald, basically. So I I want to give this to someone. Oh, who is bald? And uh, as a little joke for so yeah, I'm keeping this one. Sorry, I think it's really funny. I, uh, the other new thing at my store were these sweet looking little jars, check these out. And there's mini erasers inside and they, they were tucked at the back of the shelf. I don't know how come I, I got lucky that I saw them. I actually, I think I had dropped something I on the floor and I, I bent down to pick it up and then I saw these at the back. I was like, oh, what's that? Um, so these are little they're acrylic they're like little candy jars they sit flat like this just like old-fashioned candy jars and each little one has all these little erasers inside and they have different different shapes and there's 16 16 little pieces of bumblebee erasers Look at it's just so cute and this one is little rainbow this one has 24 rainbows um this one has 24 butterflies an orange and pink and there was this one was 16 dolphins i guess depending on the shape they take more space in the jar these little little dolphins yeah, there was also uh, the fish. 16 of the fish. <laughs> the little fishies. Oh, these would be good to use on Sunday. It's April Fool's Day. <laughs> Here's your supper. Uh, and this, I think this is the last one. Yeah, this is the last one. The little froggies so you have 16 of these cute little frogs in here and each one of these little jars is a dollar 25. now i mean you know you and i know that these do not make the best erasers in the world but they so they're so darn cute you know you could use these too um as little embellishments you can use these as little toys and a little gift bag you could put the pocket letters I would even put the froggy in the fairy garden he's so cute or the bee <laughs> they're all cute anyway I was pretty happy to find those and the other thing I was really excited to see was uh, in the craft you know how I love craft stuff they had these new spray paints like the pump spray not the aerosol and it says it's spray paint that can be spritzed, splattered, or sprayed onto fabric. Paint lasts after repeated washing, water-based, non-flammable, non-toxic, and eco-friendly. Safe, low-pressure bottle design. 
Um, I just like using spray inks and spray paints in my uh, everyday crafting, my paper crafting and such. So I just thought this was great because this is a dollar fifty. Now buying an empty bottle costs about that, but this already has the paint in it, and I hope it's diluted. Otherwise, the the nozzle will get clogged. So it comes in this blue color. What it says it says blue and uh purple purple violet it's really hard to i know this one looks blue and this one looks black but it's that's what it says this is purple oh and they are pretty big bottles uh you get 3.3 fluid ounces for a dollar 50. a little less expensive than some craft companies uh <clears throat> And this one is in red. They also have a green, so it's just the basic colors. But these are still fun. Green. Uh, and finally, there was a yellow. I would have liked to have seen white because I do use a lot of white uh, splatters in my, uh, my work, but uh, they didn't have that, so I got these are the ones they had, so I got one of each. Now the other thing uh, I picked up were these magnetic tins, uh, and you get two of these. I haven't seen these in a while. I think these are just overstock left of stuff left over uh, at my store. But anyway, I picked them up because I like using these. I find they they stick really well to the uh, Raskog carts that a lot of us have for our craft supplies. And they're great in the kitchen too. To um, I I use one in the kitchen to hold just little magnets on the side of my fridge. You could put spices. You could put all sorts of things in there. So I like to use them in uh, my kitchen and in my craft room. So I got um, more of these. And like I said, these are dollar twenty five for the two. And I bought these right after I had bought just one tin, but it is slightly larger. Uh, Dollar Tree has some that are slightly bigger, and they're $1.25 each. So these are slightly smaller, but you get two for the same price. Now in the uh, other Dollarama haul that I did this week in the video, I showed you these little spice bottles, the glass ones that I purchased. As I said, I had found some acrylic jars, but they were too big, and these are the acrylic jars I was referring to. Uh, these are storage jars. They're great. They're great for storing crafts and stuff. There's nothing wrong with them I just needed something smaller. These are a little too tall to fit in my new Organizing system, uh, but I know I will find a use for these for sure. I will fill them up in no time probably So these are a dollar each So I had purchased three because I was in need of three not knowing that they would not be the right size I picked up a couple chocolate bunnies I've been picking up slowly some nice smaller size chocolates I still will have gift bags for my boys even though they you know they're not big on the Easter and the Easter Bunny and all that stuff so uh, mom's had to tone it down terribly <laughs> I have no decorations, nothing. I will have a cake and I will have a goodie bag for each one of my boys. And this one happens to be a Russell Stover that is a caramel with chocolate. And this one is uh, cookies and cream. And I think these were $2 a piece. Again, there's no price on them, but I know it's on the receipt. I picked up a couple of cards because I, although I work, I, that's the problem. I work in the crafting industry. I work in the crafting industry. So I have very little time left to actually craft stuff for myself or my family. It's crazy. So uh, I picked, uh, I bought, I didn't make, sorry. I bought two cards for my, my boys. So I got this one. And I got this one, and I believe the cards at Dollarama are a dollar or a dollar twenty-five. I don't remember. I didn't care. I just don't have enough time to do everything I want to do. Um, I got a no. I got two of these actually. I uh, two packages of the self-adhesive label holders that you could put on the side of binders 
to uh, label them. I also use these on boxes, on drawers, so I could uh, just leave, stick this on the front of the drawer or the box and slide in a paper that says what's in the con what's in that container and if I switch it out then I just pull out the paper and make a new one. And I got some of those because I have to start labeling some stuff in my studio because um, I'm starting to I'm, I'm at the point where things are going to have their home like their final home so I'm going to start labeling uh, things because I like to keep like things with like and um, that's what I've been doing here but I've had to move some stuff around because some cupboards are deeper than others and anyway so yeah but it's, I'm getting to that point so I'm hoping to label stuff soon I was very pleased to finally find these painting knives at my Dollarama I've seen so many people haul these and I thought these were such a good deal since I I, I know the cost of uh, art supplies and these have wooden handles and they are steel so and I do have some really good ones that I've had for over 30 years uh, these painters patulas and stuff but uh, I just thought this would be a good backup to have and so inexpensive because these painting knives at Dollarama are a dollar fifty each and these are the three that were available the three different sizes and shapes so i will be happy to use these in my mixed media and crafting and i could um keep my really high quality ones for painting if i ever get back into painting <laughs> uh oh i saw these and i thought these were so adorable i had to get uh different three different ones and they had a lot so they, these little plaques, they imitate like pallet wood plaques. And these are a dollar fifty. And I got this little one that says uh, love, laughter, and friends. The other one I picked up was this one that says smile often, laugh loudly, love others. I thought these were lovely sentiments. And the third one I picked up was follow your heart. And I, of course, I, I purposely chose them also for their colors because they would coordinate uh, with items in my home and in my studio. They had some more of these paper clips. I hauled a bunch of these, I think, last year. But I saw them again. I said I'm going to get some more because I really like these. Uh, these little paper clips, you get two, four, six, eight, ten. You get ten in here for a dollar. And I just love these ones because they, they're in the shape of light bulbs. And the other ones I really like are the birds. So I got a few of... Well, actually, I only got one more of the bird because I know I still had some. But the light bulbs, I picked up three because I just thought they were really, really cute. And um, in the previous uh, Dollarama haul video, I explained that I bought some white baskets to put on a shelf in my studio. And on the other shelf, what I didn't tell you is that I've been using these pink baskets that I had hauled uh, last year, and I never did use them in my studio that's in the base that was in the basement because they weren't the right size. But it turns out that now this year they're the perfect size for a shelf that I have here, and I just wanted two more because I had the space for two more. So I got these. They are a dollar fifty each, and I'm really happy that they were back this year just because like I said I, I wanted to have two more these are the they only come out at Easter and they're just the perfect size for um, my shelf I also picked up this magnetic basket by studio now it's 250 for this basket but it is metal and it has pretty good magnets on the back and it's pink and I debated whether I should pick it up or not because of it's 250 just for this thing but actually I know that these things go for a lot more at Staples and I thought this is a cute color I uh, will be putting this on one of my carts uh, they're not Rascog carts I actually have one Rascog cart from Ikea and I have uh, three from the Recollections collection from Michaels and so I will be using this on one of those carts um, to put some uh, tools. 
I believe I've picked these up before. I couldn't remember, but I, I think these are a good deal. So I got another one. These are the pearl sheets. So it's an entire sheet of pearls. It's like covered in pearls. And it measures 59 inches by, I can't see what it says, by almost five inches, four point something. And these are $3. So, but you get a lot. You do get a lot of material. And, oh, I got one more of these little pouches, this little jute bag pouch. Um, in the video I did on my review of the art bin, the storage container for art supplies, I realized that these fit really well in the small compartments and I used the two that I had in there. I put them in the compartments with just the perfect size and I store all my little art supplies that I have on the go. So when I go somewhere, I can just pull out this little container full of pencils and markers, whatever, and it stands. It just stands really well on, on the table. So I thought, oh, what a great idea that was. So I went and got another one because they just fit really nice in my container. And oh, they had some more. This was the only one they had uh, because the last time I saw these wooden embellishments. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say it? These are a dollar fifty. These little jute bags. Uh, the last time I saw these at Dollarama, they uh, I bought the only cat dog one they had, and now I saw another one. Uh, this week and I got it be, but I wish they had had more because I would have picked up more because I love kitties you know that and so you get nine of these wooden embellishments in here they're really really cute and they are a dollar twenty-five some other new wood embellishments that are a dollarama are these die cut wooden plaques and they had so many different designs and the design is in each corner so they're the corners are cut out there are two in here these I, I'm not sure what I'll be doing with them but I just thought because they're a thin wood and they're they're very pretty uh, there's definitely going to be a time that I will need to make a project of some sort and these will come in handy so you get the two pieces in here for a dollar twenty-five, and they have the butterfly one, which is I chose one of the butterfly, and the other one I chose was this kind of corner here. Uh, they had different kinds of corners. They're really pretty, kind of delicate looking, but sturdy and pretty. So you might want to check that out. And uh, I got this keychain that. Uh, is a charge and sync charge and sync cable keychain it is four dollars I chose this one because it's red but the ends are supposed to be uh, compatible for my iPhone and so when I'm on the go I'm always in need of transferring photos from my phone to my computer for filming uh, for video purposes and bl blog posts and all that stuff that I have to do for my work so, uh, and this could be on my keychain, and I like that it's in red, and I think it closes up nicely. And it is $4, but it is definitely something that I will be using. It'll be very practical. And then when I saw these, I had to get them. Uh, although I have notebooks galore. <laughs> it's like paper. I don't need more, but I keep buying it. Um... I got, I saw these beautiful, uh, like sketchbooks or journals with these wonderful, I love these craft paper pages. I just love working on these. You can put a lot of mediums on here. And, um, so I don't know how many pages there are, but it is very substantial. So about an inch thick and it is three dollars and fifty cents and i just thought the cover was so appropriate so cute with the paints and the paint brushes and even at the back there's some little paint tubes and it just 
I love journals and sketchbooks. And so, got this one. There were three models. I got one of each. This one has uh, some uh, paint brushes and a paintbrush and some pencils with an eraser. I think they're really cute. Um, even the back has a couple pencils there. And the third one that was available at my store is this one. And again, here you have some paint brushes, uh, a water brush, some paints, and a little paint palette. I just think this is really, really cute. And I've got the back, there's a little paint palette. So um, that is that for my uh, dollar wrap, my other dollar rama haul that I did this week. Yes, I did two dollar ramas and two dollar trays this week, and I have a lot of work to get back to. I have to put this aside right now because I have to get back to work. I have a lot of deadlines to meet, and I still have two dollar tree videos to uh, to film for you guys. So. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, I would so appreciate a thumbs up. Please like it, comment, share. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed. Uh, and if I don't speak to you before, I wish everyone a happy Easter, a happy holiday weekend. Um, for those of you who are just enjoying the, the long weekend, and please enjoy. And I'll see you after the next haul or video. <laughs> Bye.